In song one, Anne Hathaway is an anthropologist who goes back to New York when her brother is hit by a car. He's in a coma and she feels terrible because they've been estranged. So she befriends his folk music idol and they start a relationship. Let's see if the audience here at the library liked what they heard and saw. The story was just so, um, it was moving. It was about a brother and sister and not that I could relate specifically to, to the story, but it, I mean, it's moving. I thought it was interesting. I think there was some fresh music and uh, good performances. I think the guy who played James Forrester, which I don't, I think is a fictionalized character, did a very good job, and Anne Hathaway was her usual good self. I, I, um, I don't know, needed an uplift, and that's what I got, and it was like a happy ending. Whoops, maybe I'm not supposed to say that. Okay. And uh, just lovely music, and just a very kind of poetic, quiet film. I'm really happy, I'm stoked. It was fun. I did like the music, and ordinarily that's not, I'm more of a jazz fan, actually, but uh, he made you feel the music, and I think anybody could appreciate that. It's, it's really good that they tell story to the music, something like that. It's quite interesting one, and the performance is very really good. I mean, I would give it a five, you know. I would almost give everything a five, though, because <laughs> I just, I mean, I just love to see these films. They're so special. So, yeah, it was a really great film. Highly recommend it. 3.5. Definitely a five. I'd give it a four. Uh, I think, like, 4.5. As the title of the movie Song One might indicate, there's a lot of music in this film. And if early film industry reviews are any clue, we're going to hear a lot more about the music than we will about the movie in coming months. This is Wendy Chioji with the Sundance Film Festival Movie Review for Park City Television.